Hey guys, Topper Toaster again. Today I'll be doing another video. This time it is a beginning 2011 Lego collection video. So I'll do one at the beginning and end of each year just so you can see how my collection started each year and uh, how much it's grown over the course of a year. So here we go. Get the flagship, some other junk there. Uh, just a bunch of junk in here and let's just walk to my main room. Here we have some random stuff. They're just pieces here. I just some of my spare minifigures and other stuff. And up here we have a lot of my Technic axles and stuff. Yeah, so this is just a Lego organization tub. It's, it's pretty cool. It's really helpful. Sorry, I shake the camera. It's got it in my left hand as of the moment. Alright, here we go. Then here we have the town plan and some other stuff in there and in here sorry about the lighting but we just have just a random base plate got some old sets and minifigure parts in there and so uh let me move to up here just have random big crowd of minifigures for some reason uh we got some sets here Pretty crammed. Ah, uh, some of my favorites right there. Yeah, I usually just like to cut the minifigures with this pen and yeah. Got just random little things. Yeah, so let's move over to these shelves. Just got some old construction sets. Now, that used to be a basketball court back there. Some customs and stuff. So up here we have uh, one of the older airports. Camper, part of the area defense unit. Some Atlantis stuff. Here we got a whole bunch of stuff. Airmail, Indiana Jones, Power Miners, Agents. I mean, not Asians, sorry. Ninja Ghost, City, uh, World Racers. It's one of the older fire stations. You got the old fire boat. And some uh, other things, like the old police station right there. So, I mean, here I used to like Bionicles, so here's some of my Bionicles. And where are the rest? Oh yeah, here's one of my custom houses that you've seen in the video before. You've seen the front. Uh, it's got the Space Needle back there. The Coast Guard things. Uh, City Corner stuff. Part of my Star Wars junk. Uh, uh, yeah. Here are some of my Star Wars stuff is it's kind of in ruins but that's the Wookiee catamaran so here we have a custom Lego nutcracker I made for the holidays and uh, yeah, a new set really dusty train station there and in here is Prince of Persia stuff Here's the Battle of Alamut, some promos, whatever. Um, got the Ostrich Race, Desert Attack, the Fight for the Dagger. It's my favorite Prince of Persia set besides the uh, castle. And yeah. So that's in there. So over here we got just some stuff scattering my floor. And uh, yeah, sorry about the lighting for a second here. I can't uh, pause my camera. So let's move over to another area of my room where I keep some Legos. Sorry, just plug in my light to show you the stuff in my closet. Sorry about this, guys. Alright, so in here we have some customs. Uh, 
some of my collectible minifigures are stored in here. Undercover Cruiser. Yeah, you can see some of this green stuff. Lava Jazz. And I just recently put in this storage area in my closet. All uh, three big empty drawers to put Legos in. So that's that. Here are some of my more recent boxes. I have storage container thing. Look at these boxes quick. And here we just have tabs for my container unit. This thing. And in here we just have a bunch of random minifigures and pieces. And this one. So in the, this one, we have more random Lego pieces. It's a really big tub. And in here we have Oh yeah, we have to my mom told me to clean my room. I just like to hide stuff in here. Alright, so here's the Legos. There. Yeah. When I go on vacation, this is where I just put stuff so on vacation I can build things. So that's that. Those are some Lego mostly Lego magazines. I also have some National Geographics and stuff in there. So I think I think that's it. There might be, there's Legos all around my room, I'm not even kidding. So I think that concludes this collection video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I have a lot of disassembled sets. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you these containers here. Let me get them down. They contain uh, Legos. Here's got some bionicle doodads and lots of technique things. So yeah, let me show you my instruction manuals and stuff over here. Once again, sorry about the lighting. Ugh. Okay, here it is. Instruction manuals from all throughout the years from things like Alpha Team, Agents, Power Miners, City, Star Wars, minifigures, just about F SpongeBob. Yeah, just about every type of instruction manual. Oh yeah, I used to have this. I <laughs> don't even remember. But yeah, we got tons and tons of instruction manuals. It's crazy. We got, oh yeah, this is from a big Bionicle I had. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. And I also am starting to put some in here because this little cubby's getting filled up. So... Yeah, that's, that's a lot of instruction manuals. Look at this, it's taking up a lot of my, this area. See you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this collection video. And let's see how much my collection's grown uh, next, at the end of this year. Around, like, after Christmas. See you guys next time.